viewers. And that packet will this way reach facebook.com server. And facebook.com will see, oh, he is the home page of Toshi. And it will again send you back the reply. And that reply will be, I mean, go on Chrome, open your friend's Facebook page and say, get source. You will get the whole page HTML source. So it will send you that HTML page back again through those routers via Iran to India. So that's how a packet comes back to your browser. Now your browser has the packet. It's a HTML packet. So you have text like HTML and then body or further the PEP for the browser. Something like that. You have a whole it's the job of the browser to parse this and make some meaning out. So as we said earlier, programmers at this level do not care about what happens at the hardware. They just care about what to reach, do this with data. And what to do when uh, this page comes. So they pass, browsers pass this thing and make some meaning out. For example, here is IMG tag and you have SRC source. Source is equal to again some text. So what it will do, it will create a window and put the image into it. That is how you see it. That is the job of browser. And who will do this job of creating a window and displaying it on the screen? This is done by Excel. So browser, those who create browsers do not care about who will create this window, how do I manage it. They just care about, okay, please make a window for me, create a window. And web server will do this job. That is how the packet starts from your browser, goes to the user server and comes back. Any questions? So, okay. so, we have reached a situation where we have got the packet back from when you click on Apple, we have got the Facebook home page of Toshi. So, browser has the page. Now, let's see how computer displays it to you. So, there is a lot of stuff that has happened already and uh, this is probably the almost last phase of displaying the data on the screen. Okay. So what happens, there is something called a video card inside your laptop, PC, even your mobile has a video card. Okay. So what is the job of video card is just get the data that is being dumped to it and make the meaning out of that data and display that data on the output screen like your projector or screen okay so but there is something something meaningful that happens inside the video card. so what actually happens is there is a video ram inside your video card so your video card can be a dedicated video card or it, or it can use a shared ram also okay so uh, when you say but while buying a new laptop or desktop, अबे उसमें ये है क्या? Video card है क्या? तो अगर video card होता है तो फट से चार हजार बढ़ जाते हैं। So what is that? It is the dedicated video card, which is extra apart from the inbuilt video card on your system. Nowadays they have the inbuilt video card. In previous days there was not the concept of video card being integrated. Intel didn't make any video card for itself. There are dedicated video cards. Like yes. Video yes. Video cards. So now Intel makes on chip video. Yeah. Yeah. So your computer has on chip video card as well, plus dedicated video card. It is optional. Okay. So whatever video card it is, the basic functionality of video card is same. So every video card has a video RAM. Okay. This video RAM is again the chip that is a simple RAM you have in your computer. Likewise, there is a RAM which is on your video card and this RAM contains a lots of data. I have just placed the three levels for mentioning the important data. So most important is frame buffers. So frame buffer uh, is like a, uh, I think everybody knows the concept of buffer. Buffer is just the piece of memory which contains a data. So frame buffer in this case is something different. So frame buffer let's say it is an array of let's say your uh, resolution is 1024 by 768. So what it will do, it will assign let's say two bytes for each pixel. So for each pixel 
there will be two bytes allocated in a two dimensional array which will form a screen this is this is a screen which is formed by two dimensional array and this is mapped into your video ram directly inside this computer okay so every pixel has a dedicated two bytes which contains in information of x coordinate y coordinate color intensity and all things which are required okay so when you want to place some red circle here what you will do you will go to this memory location fill up this memory location your video graphic card will somehow pull that memory location it will understand this is a red color it will put red color at that x y location okay so but where is this memory location we are talking about two dimensional array is stored so it is stored into video ram inside frame buffer address area okay so frame buffer is a part of video ram memory which contains a uh, pixel by pixel memory dedicated to it at certain location so uh, right now if you can see this laptop is showing some other this laptop is showing some other contents on this screen and uh, there are some other contents on this screen but the same laptop is connected to both the screen so how so there must be different frame buffer for each of the screen right so what uh, video ram contains is a set of frame buffers so that if your uh, graphic card uh, supports let's say this graphic card supports two maximum uh, displays so this graphic card can have two frame buffer each frame buffer will correspond to different uh, screens so uh, if i write into uh, address